Hey, Bible Drill Fry the Math Guy here. Now, first and foremost, I have upgraded to a more healthy alternative of a snack. I got the caramel apple chips today. So, um, almost gone by the way. I haven't been munching on them all day. <laughs> so, welcome. My name is Bible Drill Fry the Math Guy, and I'm here today to get you ready for your chapter test. It's Test Review with Bobby, Test Review with Bobby, Test Review, Test Review, Test Review with B-O-B-B-Y, Bobby! Now, Mr. Phillips and I are cousins, and I have not met you yet, so hi there, good to see you. See you in the front row there, Colton Octagon. Now, you, yep, you, yep, there's your shout out. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get going here on some, um, uh, review for our chapter test that is fast approaching and Bobby Joe Fry is going to take you on a mathematical journey. So strap in and get ready to roll folks. Here we go. All right. So first things first here, um, I want you to go ahead and we're going to pause the video and you're going to solve each one of these separately. All right. So in your notes, you're writing these down separately. My mom always said, if I'm not trying hard, then, um, uh, Where is she? <laughs> Mama? All right, so moving on, um, you're gonna go, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna work these out individually, okay? And then see what you get for your answers. And then once you're done watching, you're pausing the video, you solve them and then watch the video and I'll, I'll take you on this journey. All right, let's start with this one. Because we have a song that says, same sign, add and cape, different sign, subtract. So we're gonna subtract this numbers, um, this numbers. <laughs> and um, uh, you always wanna put the bigger number on top when you subtract, you don't wanna do 14 minus 25, that's kinda weird. So I'm gonna go over the side, do 25 minus 14, we get 11, all right? And take the sign of the higher number, which really means the number that's further away from our good old friend zero. And so, take this out of the higher number means this is not going to be a negative 11. This number is higher than that one, so this will be a positive 11. Just seeing if Bobby Joe could throw you off a little bit by putting that negative sign there. Hopefully, you were watching closely. Like that one time, I went to prom with my cousin, and everyone was like, Bobby Joe, isn't this your cousin? And, uh, yep. <laughs> Wait, hold oh, on, man. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, add the opposite here for subtraction. So 12 minus negative 32, getting rid of $32 of debt. Like that one time I owed um, uh, John down the street $32 for killing that raccoon. Um, I had to get a new pet <laughs> after that, but you're gonna go ahead and add the opposite. So we get 12 plus 32, which equals a positive 44. All right, so there we go, 44, 11. Okay, this right here is a good day. The shoes match. Okay, now Bobby Joe, I don't wear shoes, so. Yep. Uh, pearly whites. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> my feet are real white. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, so when you look at this here, it's a good day, it's a positive 72. Okay, right here, the shoes don't match. You've got one negative shoe, you've got one positive shoe. Okay, so right here, now every day is a good day for everybody to joke because I always have no shoes on. But if you have one negative shoe, one positive shoe, when you look at this, it's going to be a bad day. It's going to be negative 10. So your answers, positive 11, positive 44, positive 72, and good old negative 10. All right, so next problem we got here, we got negative 23 minus 5 times negative 8 plus 5 squared. So go ahead and hit that pause button and um, uh, see how you do. So first things first, whenever we see that subtraction, we want to get rid of it. And that one time my family tried to get rid of me. Um, <laughs> too soon. Too soon. All right, add the opposite here. So we have negative 23 plus negative 5 times negative 8 plus 5 squared. Now once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and follow our dear old Aunt Sally's rules of math, I guess. And we're going to do exponents first. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 
Bring that everything down and drop it like it's hot. All right, that one time I picked up a hot cookie tray and I was like, ouch. All right, so we have um, multiplication before we add. This is a good day. Shoes match once again, okay? We have negative five times negative eight, which is a positive 40. Bring everything down. Now, it's up to you what you want to do. I, I think Bobby Joe is going to pick this right here. Probably the easier. Okay, 25 minus 23 is a positive 2. And I have 40 plus 2, which is the answer of 42. There'll be a handful of questions like this on the test, so prepare yourself. All right? All right, so this says Carl starts at positive 10 elevation and throws off five groups of six rocks. First of all, Carl, that is a waste of rocks. I can give you at least five different ways to use rocks. All right, you can put them on the ground. You can pick them up. There's two. Uh, you could use them as a lawn ornament. Carl? <laughs> Carl? Um, you could give them to Carson Krejci as a gift. So here you go, Carson, here's some rocks. Or you could throw them off hot air balloon, I guess. <laughs> Carl. All right, so Carl starts at positive 10 elevation and throws off five groups of six rocks. After placing on 12 balloons, what's his elevation? So I want you to go ahead and pause it um, and don't think about this too much. Why does Carl have rocks on a balloon? Why is he in a balloon? Go ahead and try to solve it. All right, we're gonna start at 10. We're at positive 10, so 10's our first number. Okay, and he throws off. So throws off his subtraction. Here's the tricky part. Five groups of six rocks. So five groups of multiplication, six rocks is gonna be negative six. All right, so keep in mind, rocks cause you to go down, so rocks are negative. After placing on 12 balloons, what's his elevation? So placing on plus 12 balloons. Uh, balloons are going to cause you to go up 12, so it's plus 12. Now, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the subtraction. We don't like that pesky subtraction, so we're going to change the add and the opposite. It'll be a plus negative 5 times negative 6. Now, this is going to be a real handy-dandy nice problem once we multiply these two numbers because they equal a positive 30. So we have 10 plus 30. It's a good day. That's why it's positive 30. That's all nice positive numbers. So just can you add? I don't know. Can you? So we get 40 plus 12, which is a 52. So the answer, Carl, is at 52. Balloons. No, 52. But it. All right, next problem. We have 4 and 7 tenths plus 5 times the quantity negative 4 minus 5 minus 14 and 7,800. So, same thing, go ahead and um, pause the video, write down, and see how you do. Oh. Sorry, my producer in the back is saying, get over, Bobby Joe, <laughs> get over. Sorry. If you're paying attention, but in your notes right now, I'll give you five imaginary stars and you can write down what I was just eating. So, also, when you get a moment, check out the DI5EA5E on Twitch. Um, I heard this guy is named after a president. Um, might be um, Abraham Jefferson. That doesn't sound right. Eh, anyways, Lincoln, Lincoln Kimling, good luck. Twitch, follow him. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and work this out by adding the opposite with all of our subtraction. So first and foremost, we're gonna add the opposite here and here. Um, be really careful on this one, it's kinda tricky. 
So I know it's going to go against the rules, but just to make this a little bit more understandable, I'm going to put those by each other without parentheses. So if you put the parentheses there, power to you. I'll give you um, jello salad next time we're together as a family. Uh, <laughs> Okay, moving on. So parentheses first, we have same sign added keep. That equals a negative nine. Now, if you're trying to do that in your head, be very careful because some people will say, well, Papa Joe, isn't four minus five, oopsies, write the numbers down. It's hard to say numbers and talk at the same time. Isn't four minus five one? Well, no, it's not. Because if you lost $4 and you take away five more dollars, you've lost $9. All right, so we're gonna multiply before we add. We have five times negative nine, which is negative four to five. And then I'll put parentheses around the head just to be fancy. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add, oh, let's do these two, because it's pretty simple. Same sign, add and keep. <clears throat> oh, I cleared my throat like that. <laughs> Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, add and keep. Yeah, I'm gonna do this right. We gotta line them up. It's like that famous song. Line them up, 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 line them up, 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 line them up, up, up. We're riding dance balls. Okay, so we add them up. So we have eight plus zero is eight. Seven, drop it straight down like it's hot. Four plus five is nine, and four plus one is five. So. We have same sign, add and keep, negative 59.78. And then we have four and seven tenths. Now, different sign subtract. Take the sign of the higher number. I'm gonna go ahead and work it out over here. It's pretty simple. So minus four and seven tenths. Now it looks funny, okay? Kind of like that one time I had some funny looking teeth. Um, all right, so we go ahead and subtract. and get eight minus zero is eight. 7 minus 7 is 0, drop it straight down, 9 minus 4 is 5, 5 minus 0 is 5. So, final answer, um, which is negative by the way, because the same rules apply, different signs of track, take the sign of the higher number, okay, it's negative, so negative 55 and 8 sets, 55.08. All right, you have $40 in your bank account and you pay four friends $9 each. After a $23 deposit, what's your balance? So I don't really have any neighbors. Um, it's part of my just ability to roam. I'm a roamer, I roam around. But I will say this, if there's a neighbor closest to my heart, it's a girl named Kira. Great neighbor, right? I've heard, I've heard she's a great neighbor, Kira Kinsey. Um, so shout out to you, Kira. Keep being a good neighbor. All right, so you have $40 in your bank account and you pay four friends $9 each after a $23 deposit, what's your balance? Okay, now start with off with 40 bucks in your bank account. That's more money than I had my entire life. <laughs> in your bank account and you pay four friends nine dollars each so i paid four friends nine dollars now keep in mind when you pay someone money it's going to be a negative nine now you could do a minus four times nine but either way that's going to be a bad thing for your bank account after a 23 dollars deposit now this is a little bit of terminology as far as knowing what deposit means a deposit is putting money into an account a withdrawal is taking money out of it. You withdraw it from it, okay? So that's a difference. You deposit money in, you withdraw money out. So be careful with that. Okay, we go ahead and multiply first. This is a bad day. Shoes don't match once again. So 40 plus negative 36 plus 23. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do these two. That's pretty simple. Different size of track, take the sign of the higher number, you get a positive four. And then our final answer is you currently have $27 in your bank account. Nice job. Problems here for this review video, and it's been a pleasure. You've done great. Um, just a couple pieces of advice, of life advice from free of charge. Free of charge. So don't worry, I'm not going to Venmo you. Uh, 
So a couple pieces of advice free of charge. Okay, first of all, when you're taking the test, all right, if you don't know the answer, go like this. Mr. Phillips will love that. Now, actually, don't do that. You'll get your butt chewed. All right. Like that one time, I was chasing after a beaver, and it got a hold of my pants and it chewed my butt. <laughs> All right. So moving on. Um, going through this here, we're gonna multiply first. But I see some subtraction there. Once again, I'm gonna change it just to be careful. So if I add the opposite, oh, first of all, did I announce the problem? I don't think I did. So. If you haven't already, pause the video, solve it first. All right, get into it. We're going to add the opposite here, okay? So we have 14 and a half plus negative 23 and 7 tenths plus 5 and 7 tenths times negative 2.1. All right, first and foremost, we're going to multiply. Now, first of all, 6 times 2 is 12. It's a bad day, so don't overthink this here, but it's a bad day. It's a negative answer. But my answer should be around 12, give or take, okay? So when we multiply decimals, this goes back to first semester, which we're in first semester right now, but it goes back to first chapter, okay? Multiply decimals now, multiply decimals. Count them out, count them out. We, 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 you're done. Move them down. <laughs> I don't know what voice that was. All right, seven times one is seven. Uh, five. Okay. Now I count them out. There's two of them. Forgot to mention that. Okay. Um. Then we get for zero. It's fourteen. All over the place right now. Ten, eleven. All right. First of all, one thousand one hundred and ninety-seven is way too big. That makes no sense. But this answer is close to our estimation of twelve. We look at it, there's two decimals. One, two, you move it down two places. So 11.97 is dynamite. 11.97. Okay, that's a bad day. Shoes don't match. Bring everything down. 23.7 is negative. And then plus 14 and a half. Okay, I just want this to get too confusing. I'm gonna erase it real quick. Just hold on. I'm gonna ninja swipe. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm a ninja swipe. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm a ninja swipe. That's pretty good. <laughs> ninja swipe. All right. So same sign, add and keep. Let's do that first. I think it's probably going to be the easiest. So 23.7, 23 and 7 tenths, plus 11.97, 16, drop it like it's hot, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3. Yeah, it's the same sign add and keep, so that's negative 35 and 67 hundredths. Different signs to track, take the sign of the higher number. So minus 14.5. Notice how I'm lining my decimals up again. 7 minus 0, 7, 1, drop it like it's hot, 1, 2. So my final answer, take the sign of the higher number, it's negative 21 and 17 hundredths. It's been real, it's been fun, and like my folks always said, it's been real fun. So, I just want to leave you one last thing. Number one, always try your hardest. Number two, always be kind to others. And number three, never skip arm day, baby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Baba Joe, fry the math guy out. It's test review with Bobby. Test review with Bobby. Test review. Test review. Test review with B O B B Y Bobby. It's B O B B Y Bobby. <laughs>